Hey there, this is Dr. Evan Osler, developer of the Integrative Movement System and author of the Corrective Exercise Solutions to Common Hip and Shoulder Dysfunction. Thank you so much for watching part three of this three-part video series of Integrative Movement Insider Corrective Exercise Strategies. Recall that in part one, we discussed the concept of pronation. And that pronation is basically a triplanar motion that allows the foot to adapt to the ground. In video two, we looked at one of those common muscles that's short and tight in many of our clients that have problems with pronation and even over pronation, and that's the posterior tibialis. The posterior tibialis, when it's short and stiff, will hold the foot in slight supination, and oftentimes that over pronated foot is a compensation because of the stiff posterior tibialis and the long toe flexors. So I demonstrated how to release the posterior tibialis. And then we went into a squat pattern. The squat pattern allows us to really work on allowing the foot to adapt to the ground. So the foot should elongate slightly and abduct slightly while being supported upon that foot tripod or that big toe, small toe, and heel. So as we load during the squat or any pattern, lower extremity pattern, we load, this is the loading or pronation phase, this is the unloading or supinatory phase. What we wanna see during loading, the foot spreads out wider and goes slightly longer. And then as we come out of these positions and we unload the lower extremity, then we shorten the foot and narrow the foot slightly, still maintaining that foot tripod position. So here's just a few of the functional progressions we use with our own general population clients. So from a squat position, we can go into the split squat position. So the weight, again, big toe, small toe, heel primarily. We're gonna line the TPC up over that foot tripod. So it's a great way to make sure that then your knee lines up. There's no way, very, I should say very infrequently, do you line up the foot tripod and the TPC and the knee's not in a good position. Generally, this lines up the knee in the right position. And now we're just gonna load the split squat position. So we're loading or pronating the foot here. It's spreading out. The toe should be long on the ground, contacting the ground, but long, and the foot should slightly spread out. And then we come back up out of that position. So we load the foot unload the foot. Loading the foot, unload the foot. The foot should be set on the foot tripod, the toes should be long, the foot should be spreading and elongating as we load it, and then shortening and narrowing as we unload it. We can also do a lateral or frontal plane motion as well. So we're gonna load the ankle and foot complex here, so we see the foot tripod set, toes stay long, the knee comes slightly over the foot, but not past the foot, over the foot, and we're sitting back into the hips. So we're loading the entire lower extremity, hip, knee, ankle, and foot, the foot spreading out, elongating, and also getting slightly wider, and then we unload. We load it, and then unload it. Load it, and then unload it. We can also do single leg patterns. So it's the same idea, same concept. So we set the foot tripod, we set the head and neck long, and the TPC. We're gonna load, and then unload. We wanna make sure the foot tripod is still set, toes are long, the foot's controlled, hip, knee, ankle, foot stay relatively aligned as well. We're gonna load, unload. Load it, unload it. We can do that through the frontal plane as well. We're gonna load it, and then unload it as we come up. We're gonna load, and then unload it as we come up. Load, unload as we come up. So that way we're reinforcing all the proper mechanics we want to see. We want to see the foot tripod set, we want to see the foot load up, spread out and elongate as we load the ankle and foot complex, we want to see it slightly narrow and short as we unload it. And again, deadlift patterns are the exact same thing. We can go through the deadlift patterns, so if you're deadlifting here, the foot should be loading, spreading out into the ground, and being contacted mostly underneath the big toe, small toe, and heel. And then we unload, and the foot should still be in the foot tripod, but again, we should see the foot slightly move into supination as we come up, and then pronation as we load. So this would be our unloading, or in our loading phase. Unloading and loading phase. So that way, no matter what pattern you're doing with your clients, you're reinforcing and you're training the foot tripod, the proper biomechanics, and the proper alignment and control that your clients need to do the things that they want to, love to, and need to do. So I hope, hope this video series helped you understand pronation, helped you understand how to use corrective exercise to improve alignment and control of the ankle and foot complex, and then use that idea, those concepts, in the functional and fundamental movement patterns. If you're looking for more information, we have a special project coming up. We'll share with you in the next video series. This is Dr. Evan Ostar with Integrated Movement Insider. We'll catch you next time.